Hello, beautiful people of America. It is a great day to be here. It is a great day to see all of you here, and I am proud of each and every one of you. And the truth is, I am not here for me. I am here for you. So you don't ever have to fear of getting shot in your own classroom. You don't ever have to wonder if you'll have to see your best friend die next to you. You don't ever have to worry about going into a Holocaust history class to learn about death and then experience it right before your eyes. And this why, this is why, oh my God. <laughs> And this is why this piece is called Enough. <laughs> Never did I think I would be herded like cattle by a shower of bullets that let me scarred and rattled forced to huddle among those who lost their last living breaths on a day that was designated for loves and laugh. I never got to say goodbye. I could barely see out my eyes because I was crying tears and blood at the same time. Barricaded behind those filing cabinets and bookcases that day taught me one thing and one thing only. Regardless of how much money you pay or how much you pray, if you don't change anything today, your children will no longer stay. So when do we say enough is enough? <laughs> day in and day out, our kids are getting shot up. And the moment we speak up, we're scolded that we are not old enough. It is as, it, it is as if we need permission to ask our friends not to die. Lawmakers and politicians will scream guns are not the issue, but can't look me in the eye. this in, is in numbers. Let, let's have our lawmakers reflect our views and address our struggles. Let's stand. Unite with one another. We the people still stand true, so now America, you will have to choose. Will you give up, or is enough enough? And I have one more request. Today is March 24th, March for Our Lives, but it is also the birthday of Nick Duart, someone that I was senselessly murdered in front of me. Today is his birthday. I would like to sing together, happy birthday. One, One two, three. Happy birthday. 